Hello, today we're going to talk about geometric shapes, polyrhythms and Britney Spears. Welcome to episode zero. In science, there's this ideal of a theory of everything which basically means a framework to fully explain all the aspects of the universe. At the moment I'm working on a song called Into the Light and it's about whether first of all we could one day truly understand how the universe works. And if so, how does it relate to meaning, our concept of time and our significance in the greater scheme of things. So yeah, let's see what we've got so far. In the beginning of the song there's a kind of weird synthesizer thing where one synthesizer is playing this impressive and the other one plays this and when they're together it's actually kind of difficult to hear where where the beat is in the music which i think is nice let's listen But as soon as you add uh, the kick drum, it all falls into place. So it's actually a really simple polyrhythm, which means you have two or more seemingly independent rhythms playing at the same time. And there are a lot of bands doing it. I think uh, Meshuga loves it and more recently bands like Periphery or a Tesseract. Uh, and I think even Britney Spears has a song uh, with polyrhythms, so uh, I guess uh, I'm not special after all. Um, let's listen ahead. At some point, the piano comes in. Actually, I think maybe that was uh, unconsciously uh, borrowed from A Day in the Life by the Beatles. Uh, because already in the, I think in the first 10 seconds, uh, it begins with an acoustic guitar and they gradually blend in uh, a piano with it. And of course, it's a quite primitive and uh, typical studio operation you can do to blend instruments gradually like that. And the list of strange things about that song alone is uh, endless. Uh, but still, it's, uh, I think, for that period, quite unusual. And you immediately get the impression this is not a kind of normal live band recording, but much more a kind of surreal collection of different recordings uh, put together, uh, which is nice. In this case, it's much more a way to build up uh, to the chorus, actually. So here's another idea I got, which I used in the intro movie of this uh, of this series. Because in the movie there was one kind of geometric shape that, that interested me. Let's see if I can find it now. Wait for it. Yes, there it is. Yeah, my head already hurts looking at this one. But turns out it's actually a kind of, just a kind of beam or in geometric terms, apparently this bad boy is called a cuboid. There it is, the cuboid. A kind of beam, but then twisted two times and connected back to itself uh, together again. And my idea was to have a kind of musical version of this, but much simpler. Uh, so I came up with two musical lines that were twisted around each other. It looked a bit like this. Let's see if I can make a drawing. A bit like DNA actually, and so on. That's how it looks, or had to look. There you go. And the idea is, the idea was to have two identical lines, uh, but in opposite, moving in opposite direction. One, when the first line goes up, the other one goes down, oh, goes up, 
the other one goes down, uh, and so on. So it had to be symmetrical, both vertically and horizontally. Uh, so that's what I did. Let's see how, uh, how it sounds. Yeah, what I did, I made one line sound uh, like a sine wave and the other sounds like uh, strings with an organ to make it, a, make it a bit more clear. And also I moved the notes in the stereo image uh, according to their pitch to make it a, feel a bit more like it's uh, twisting around. Let's listen again. kind of gave me an uh, X-Files uh, mysterious vibe, which I think is nice because uh, I think an interesting idea only works when it still sounds uh, like music, I think. And uh, so next time when you hear the intro, uh, see if you can uh, spot it. All right, back to the song. Let's talk about Mellotrons. I think I really uh, have to admit I like Mellotrons, but I still prefer to use different Mellotron sounds instead of the well-known strings, uh, choir, flute, and so on. Uh, so for this song, I uh, actually found this really haunting but beautiful voice, I think. Yeah, I mean, how cool if you are that person uh, who gets to be sampled in the Mellotron with your voice and to end up in the song. How cool. If you are that person, let me know. All right. So much for episode zero. If you'd like to hear the whole song, please go to patreon.com slash inventions and consider subscribing to the series. As soon as you subscribe, you receive this whole song as a download for free as a welcome gift. And also don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and check out the Facebook link in the description below. The series will properly begin September 3rd, so hopefully until then. Cheers! Yeah.